Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite, home to the number one Theta community. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can find me on Theta TV as well. All right, guys, in today's video, another exciting video for you today. And in this video, we are going to talk about why, even though most of everything in the Theta network is in beta, I think we might have a beta finalized solution coming very soon. And we'll talk about that with this article right here. And this is the seven essential elements of an IPTV slash OTT video streaming solution. And we will get into those acronyms here in one second. But we'll walk through all seven essential elements. I think there's one major element missing. And as soon as they can put that piece of the puzzle together, I think they will have a 90% solution pretty much finished. So let's get into these acronyms because they will be used throughout the video today is IPTV versus OTT. And if you're unfamiliar, here is a quick overview what is IPTV? And IPTV stands for an internet based protocol television. And basically, what that means in bold, it delivers TV and video over a privately managed network, is the, the main thing to hit on there. And there's some examples here of Verizon, Fios TV, there's Direct TV Stream. Uh, so, services like this is your IPTV. And then what we are familiar with is OTT and OTT uh, refers to over the top and that's anyone using an internet connected device can access this content. So even though I have an internet connected device, I can't necessarily access this Verizon content. I have to be uh, welcome in or, or pay for that service, if you will. So some of the OTT names that we're familiar with YouTube don't have to pay for that. I just need to connect to the internet, but the more popular ones and these are different revenue based is Netflix, you know, um, Amazon Prime Video and uh, Disney Plus. Those are some of the OTT um, different uh, video programs that are out there. So now back to this article, which is the seven essential elements of an IPTV slash OTT video streaming solution. We'll check it out. So first you need an encoder and transcoder. So it's something to encode the incoming videos and transcode it depending on what type of TV there is. Uh, and it all helps with the video delivery process. And as we know, Theta Network is actually very, very good at that as part of their bread and butter. And we can check it out here. This is docs.thetatoken.org. And in addition to the validator and guardian nodes, the Theta community members also host Theta edge nodes, which from the Theta Edge Network, a fully decentralized network of data storage delivery and uh, more generally edge computing. So there is a bunch of them at this time in February, there's about 130,000 of them. And one of the main things they do is transcoding. Uh, so that is one of their bread and butters. Transcoding a video is one of the main things that these edge nodes do. And like I said, it's the bread and butter. So we can definitely check the box for number one. A second thing is a uh, set top box. So a set top box is a customer side on prem hardware and a STB is a device that receives the video and decodes it so that it can be watched on a TV. And this is another thing that of course the Theta Edge node or uh, Edge network and the Edge nodes themselves do very, very good. Uh, so all you have to do is go to once again docs.thetatoken.org and it kind of walks you through how to set up an edge node and as soon as you do this then your edge node will be relaying transcoding and doing all things video that you would want out of any one of these services so we can definitely check box one and box two and number three is middleware. So an IPTV slash OTT middleware is essential for managing a video streaming platform. It also helps with video streams and content delivery. So I kind of think of this as like the brains of the organization and not to say that the edge network doesn't have it, but I think it needs to be placed in something. And this is kind of where we need or Theta is working on solutions for this. And one of the solutions that they had in the past, you can see it in this October 22nd, 2019 Medium article is the Theta Network featured at the Samsung Developer Conference to demo integration in smart TVs. So they definitely are working on this. And some of the highlights from 
this article is the live demo of Theta in Samsung Smart TV is focused on how video streams can be efficiently shared between multiple Samsung devices, including TVs and desktops. And the flexibility is key to Theta protocol being compatible with as many devices and content providers as possible. They go on to say how TVs are really ideal for hosting edge nodes and doing everything in that middleware uh, section, but TVs can become relay nodes that are effectively on the edge of the network and onboarding hundreds of thousands to millions of these devices could significantly bolster Theta Network's capacity. And they go on to talk about how, how awesome it would be to have a TV and in the background it's running edge nodes. So in the background while you're watching TV, you're actually earning money by your TV giving off its extra bandwidth. So that is something the middleware I think is the one area that Theta is looking. And as you can see with their Medium article, they are working on solutions for that. They also have a white label solution, which is an OTT platform, which is already developed and you can resell it to other companies. So they have something very, very similar to that. And that's the Theta Video API. This is more so the back end to the you know complete solution. But I think it's very easy to take all of the backend for the Theta Video API and then slap it together with a very nice user interface where other companies, they can come together and just create some sort of nice YouTube looking website or platform. So I do think they have that and it's very simple uh, to move on to the next step, which is a content delivery network. And as we know, Theta itself is not a content delivery network but it does augment it. I don't think it would be impossible, especially if there was millions of nodes out there using TVs and cell phones to become a content delivery network. But as of right now, it's not. It's not a content delivery network. It's not a Twitch, it's not a YouTube, but it's the underlying blockchain and decentralized storage delivery infrastructure that powers the next generation. Um, so I think the potential is there, but as of right now, no, it is not there. And the last little bit is having a video on demand, which is very, very important. And some of the larger ones that we can see right now on the Theta network is Rewarder TV, where this is still in beta mode, but you can watch live TV and you can watch video on demand, movies, TV shows, and get paid to do it. So that is something that is already out there and that process is starting. And of course, number seven is live streaming, which on Theta TV, there is a bunch of live streams out there 24 seven. You can just tune in and watch and get paid to watch. So that is something that is currently out there as well. So the final thoughts, I think Theta is actually very, very close to coming together and you know making that 90% solution to have a perfect, uh, all the elements of an IPTV and OTT video streaming solution. What do you guys think of this in the comments below? What am I missing? What is this article missing? What else does Theta need? Let me know in the video comment below and I'll see you on the next one.